I've been asked a few times about how to stay safe on the bike and I know it's one thing people starting cycling get a bit worried about. So keep watching the video for some top tips on how to stay safe on a bike. I'm David and this is Forest Velo. So tip number one can be a bit controversial because it is personal choice, especially in the UK, but wear a helmet. You know, if you do come off your bike, there's no discussion of whether it's going to be safer to have a helmet on if you're hitting the ground. So, you know, in my mind, first thing you should do is wear a helmet. One thing that will keep you safer riding is not to ride in the gutter. New riders often think they should ride really close to the edge, like I'm doing now, so cars can pass and it's, uh, you know, giving more space to them and it's where you should be. But actually, it's far safer for you to ride out a bit. The worst road is always going to be pretty much by the edge. As you can see, it's quite rough here, some potholes and gaps. So riding out a bit enables you to avoid that. And the highest puncture risk is probably going to be in the gutter where all the flints and grit gathers. So try to ride out a little bit. Another thing you can do on the road is sometimes instead of riding out in the gutter be assertive and take the prime position on a road if you think it would be a very dangerous place for a car to overtake you or the roads narrowing move out into the road take the prime position so that cars behind won't overtake and then you can pull in when it's a bit safer or the road widens. The last thing you want to do in a narrow area is pull across thinking you're being helpful when really the, there's not enough space for a car to overtake. It's always useful to have one of these, a rear light. Modern bikes often don't have reflectors, especially um, race bikes don't have reflectors or anything like that. So having that rear light just gives you an extra piece of um, safety, especially when you're riding like I do in forests and things like that. One minute it's really sunny, the next minute you're in shade. Cars probably find it harder to see you in the tree cover. So having a light does help with that. Another thing you can do to help yourself be safe on a bike is sometimes just be courteous. When you know there's a car behind you trying to get past, just ease over and let them go. It's nice to uh, help the relationship between cyclists and cars rather than always insist that you've got right of way. It's a lot easier to do that when you're on your own than when you're in a group of 10. So just be aware of what's around you. If you've got any good suggestions on how to be safe or make your riding safer, drop them in the comments below. It'll be interesting to see what other people do to make sure they have safe rides. Another thing you can do, of course, to help you stay safe on the road is to wear more visible clothing. I mean, a lot of cycle clothing does tend to be black or dark colours, but if you are worried about being seen, obviously wear brighter clothes. You can get reflective jackets or bands to wear. Make sure you've got that backlight going. Another thing you can do to improve your safety is improve your skills. 
it's really useful on a bike to be able to ride one-handed if you need to take a drink or something like that maybe you need to signal to others about holes or things in the road or signal where you're turning so being able to go one-handed or even no-handed confidently is a really useful skill to have and general bike handling skills if you can probably doing some mountain biking or going off-road a bit really improves your general balance and bike handling skills So I hope you found those tips useful. If you've got any other ideas for keeping yourself safe on the road, drop them in the comments below. And until next time, see you soon.